Oh, hi, my Bellas. It's Tuesday, um, August 9th. Me and Caleb are playing fake cookie today. I'm not going to work. He's not going to daycare. He had diarrhea. He really didn't have diarrhea. He had one diaper or whatever, so he can't go back today. And um, for personal reasons, too. So we're about to hang out today. I had got him a Target pickup order of diapers. So I came to pick that up and we're about to go to Walmart, but we're going to a different Walmart because just so we can be riding a little bit more, I'm gonna get him a couple of toys and we're gonna go to TJ Maxx at some point and get him some clothes. But you wanna say hi, Caleb? Say hi. Say hi. Say what's up? Caleb know how to give a pound. Caleb. Caleb. Thank you for choosing. Don't care. What can I get for you? Do you have any more um, mini bagels? Yes, ma'am. I have the plain and the um, chive and onion. I'll do the chive and onion. And what else? Um, the chive and onion. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 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 Regular cream? Yes. Alright. What else, Lord? That'd be it. Okay, you can come around. I don't even know if I got enough. Oh, because I like... I don't like my... I don't know. I don't like super sweet coffee, but I don't like no coffee that ain't hitting either now. Get my payment out. Y'all been carrying my little jean coach bag. I've been loving her lately. I think I'm going to go to the car wash, but I don't know because I might just go to the car vacuum because. Bruh. Did what I made do. It's getting hot, Kayla. We have these windows. It's hot. Hopefully my phone will stay. I don't know if it's going to stay. It's probably going to fall. 636. Thank you. Here you go. Yeah, Kayla. I'm hot. Hot, hot, hot. Working my phone. Here you go. I like your dress. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Y'all heard my baby. All right. About to shoot across here and go to Walmart. Kayla, you want to drink coffee? Put my car back because the child be misplacing things. Oh, Lord. The child Kayla can't get mad at me because he was trying to uh, drink my coffee. And of course, he can't have no coffee. So, stop. I put it on top of the car until we get out. Anybody else, child? Ryan said he never let any of his other kids get in the front seat. Like, or he said roam around the car. He's okay with his own child who roams around the car. But I don't know. I let him, I ain't never thought of it as a big deal. If we just sitting somewhere, I let him um get out and roam. I mean, I don't, anybody else do, do that? Let me know in the comments below. Like, we just sitting there and said him hollering in his chair. I think he should get out his seat and be free so another so so yesterday y'all this is the most ghettoest thing i ever had happen to me so yesterday i get paid on mondays which don't even i would have never i would have had we would have had to reschedule if they would have told me when i got hired that i was gonna get paid every other monday because that's dumb who wants and then i i'm off on the weekends who wants to get paid after the weekend i'm only off on the weekend oh, yeah. i work nine to five thirty why would I want to get paid on a Monday? Like, so anyway, granted, yes, I understand better management, money management skills, and this, that, and third. Get it, got it, literally got it. So, um, yesterday I come to work and I find out nobody got paid, even people who had direct deposit. Now, I've been supposed to have direct deposit, I've been working that job on with August 31st, which is Ryan's birthday, will be my uh 90 days or whatever. Why am I not set up for direct deposit yet? I, I 
I do not get it. But anyway, um, so I come to work and I find out that nobody got paid. The people who had the red deposit did not get paid. I there wasn't no paper check in there. Um, so you know that was crazy. We had too many kids. One of the ladies called out. We had too many kids with it with with not enough staff. But with my job, every thirty minutes another person comes in until ten o'clock. Like. The first person comes in 5 30 next person come in six next person come in at um well next person come in at 7 30. then the next person come in at eight and then i come in at nine um and then the next lady behind me come in at 10 or whatever but so yeah it's like that but the place that i work for is a privately black owned um daycare or whatever so I had tried not to go back to private owned daycares because I, hey, stop tearing up my stuff. That's not funny. Pop. You gonna get a pop. Pop, pop. <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't know. That really had me in the phone. And then yesterday, so it was time for me to get off, right? And the lady going to, it was 5.30. No, it was like, by this time, it was like 5.20. I already cleaned up my room. If you ever work at a daycare, you got to clean up your own room. Oh. Take out the trash. You know, steam, no. steam and sanitize everything. Um, so, I would already did that in my room. So, usually, I come out of my room. I work in the baby room, if you don't know. If you're new to my channel, I work in the baby room. So, I uh, I went and I came out and I usually go and sit with the older kids while the other lady, who is the owner, while she go in. Where you learn that from? Mm-mm. Whoa. So... Um. Oh, he making the story last. Dude. I hate when people drag the story. So I, I went out into the into anything with her, whatever. She normally just go ahead and take her trash out. She already have it round up, and she go takes her trash. So I went out there to do that or whatever. And then um, I guess Caleb had saw me or whatever, so he started knocking on the door. So I opened the door to get him. So the lady was like, um, no, he didn't stay in there. Um, he didn't stay in there. I was like, no, he's not gonna. Excuse me, he's not gonna stay in there because he already seen me. He about to be crying. I'm not doing it. So she was like, "No, he'd be all right." I said, "No." So she kept on talking. I was all right. I never done said what I had to say. I don't believe going back and forth with people because the more the more I go back and forth with somebody, the angry I'm going to get, and especially when it got something to do with my son. So I just had stopped talking. So then she, the the other lady that was in there, she was like, "Yeah, that don't make no sense. Why would she want you? You know, your son already seen you. That don't even make no sense." And I was like, "I mean." I already said what I had to say about it. So she asked me and the lady to swap places or whatever. Now, mind you, I get off at of 5.30. It's like 5.20 at this point. So she like, yeah, it's stuff out here to clean. And I'm like, I'm not cleaning nothing. I already cleaned my room. I'm not about to go out here and help you clean too. Like, I don't, I think you need to go back in your books and look how much you pay me per hour. Like, you don't pay me to be doing all that. I'm not doing all that. And it's 5.20. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So that happens or whatever and i and then so i now it's 5 30 my alarm, i got alarm set on my phone at 5 29 it tells me to clock out or whatever and then it's reminded to get caleb drink out the freezer or whatever so i i'm doing that so the lady was like did you strip all your beds monday is the baby room day so everybody everybody every room got a different day to clean their they linen and whatever stop son so she gonna tell me something did, did, i got my baby what uh um what i carry in there my lunch box everything i'm ready i'm walking out the door and she's saying this or whatever so the other lady was like yeah it's your day whatever what she talking like it's time for you to go and me and her are talking while the other lady across the way talking about that bs so i was like well no i did not do that and um she was like yeah and i'm like okay it's not like stop talking to me like y'all gonna learn to stop talking to me when i'm when i'm ready when it's 5 30 like i'm no they, like her um this other lady had did the same thing was like talking to me do not if you ain't said to me by 5 30 you ain't got nothing to say to me and then on top of that i come in on time i come in on time every single day i do not call out and if you know anything about daycare business, people call out all the time. It's a numbers thing. You have to have a certain amount of people there per kids or whatever. Like, it's a dangerous game for somebody to call out unless you just severely overstaffed, which I don't know any business in, in, 2000, in 2022 that's not understaffed. I don't know no business that's not understaffed. So, she doggone, uh, I, I come there all the time, on time. I don't bother nobody. I do my job, whatever. I had to talk to somebody about Caleb's shoes. I just bought Caleb a brand new pair of Air Force Ones. Uh, week before last 
and I, I he warmed the daycare because he was going somewhere. His daddy was picking him up early, so I wanted him, you know, to look nice because he was getting picked up. Early. Stop. Here, I want him to get picked up. I want him to look nice because he was getting picked up early, or whatever. So, um, Caleb, chill out. Go back there and get your toys. Get your toys. You need to put your shoes back on so we can get out. So, I don't even know what I'm talking about because he's so aggravated. But, yeah, I don't, what I was saying, something about being there on time and this, that, and the third, whatever, but, yeah, like, so, yes, last night, like, I was, I was fed up, I was upset, because Caleb daycare comes straight out my check, which, that's kind of standard for daycares and whatever, his daycare is very high, and it's just so, and even though his daddy do, I pay half for the daycare, he pay, and I pay half, and, and Caleb, uh, Ryan pay the other half or whatever, but it's just like, when I got my shit yesterday, when I tell y'all, I was so upset. Like, I didn't even open it when lady came around and with her late behind. They didn't even pay people on time. She came around and handing out checks at, like, I got my check. Everybody else got theirs at, like, 1230. I got my check at, like, 2-something. And I didn't even open it because I already knew I was about to get pissed off. So, I, I was so upset, y'all. Like, to the point where I started, I was, I tears. I was, ups, I was so upset. So, I'm just like, I come in here. I drive all the way from Crosstown. Like, I, I work in another town of in another town i drive 30 minutes to work 30 minutes back and i'm just like oh my god gas is high like everything so i was so upset like and i just couldn't shake it like ryan was like you know da -da -da -da, trying to analyze everything this and that and i'm just like this is just like what did i go to school for like i'm literally working in what i went to school for and south carolina pay is trash it's trash like it's literally trash so I started looking for some reason, like I woke up at like uh, two o'clock in the morning or something like that. So I started looking through my old Snapchats or whatever. And I started looking at videos of Caleb and I was just like, you know what? These people done got on my nerve. And, I, and as I was looking at the pictures and stuff, I was just like, never am I going to look back and be like, oh, I wish I had made more money. I wish I had worked more. I wish I had bought him more things. I'm going to be thinking like, I wish I had spent more time with my son. So I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Ghost. So I, I feel like the Holy Ghost led me not to go to work then. I was still going to go because I'm like, I need this money. I need this money. But it just kept holding on to me not to do that. Just spend some time with my son. So that's what we're doing today. Like, we're, we're spending time together. I'm enjoying the moments. And I, I'm not going to be irresponsible and be calling out all the time. But I'm going to take time to, to call out and spend time with my son. Because I was just like, the time goes by so fast. I was looking at the um the videos and the pictures. And I'm just like... You know, I was working from home at first and stuff, and I just, I had so much time to spend with him. I got all these videos, all these memories, and now it's just like a blur. Like, we wake up, I fix him breakfast, I put him, I, then I got to put him in check, and then I got to get dressed, and then I got to do this, and I got to do that, and then we get there, and then I got to put him in the room, and he got better. He don't cry no more when I leave him, but it's just, like, I feel like the days are just going, just motions and i'm not i don't get a lot I, we don't get to spend a lot of time together because then when we get home kayla ready to go to sleep like we get home at about six what's up and he be ready to go to sleep so i'm like i don't need to spend time with my son then he go with his daddy every other weekend oh gone can you get your shoes so you, we can get out this car get your shoes but yeah, stop pulling on my chair. You know my car already. Like, come on, man. Shoot, we need a new car. <laughs> can you get your shoes, Bubby? Can you get your shoes, please? Stop me asking my child, please. I, that's white people stuff. I don't even know why I did that. I don't even do that. Get your shoes. <laughs> you want a new uh, Caleb? New thing is he really like uh, monster trucks. He got two of them. Can you show me a monster truck? Can you show? Can you get it? He got two of them. I'm probably about to buy him another one and something else. I don't know. Um, whatever toy. I'm going to just let him like walk in. Whatever he grab. Even if it's $40, $50, whatever. We can get him. Get it for him. We are. Can you stop stepping on my purse? Say bye. Bye. He's covering up. Hey! Bye. <laughs> ah! All right, my belly. We are out of there. Ryan held me up on the phone most of the time. He called me. And when I'm at work, I do talk on the phone. A lot of talk, a lot on the phone. But, uh. 
he he realized that I'm not at work, so he hey. held me on the phone. We were in there for a long time. But we're about to go over here to the shoe department to so see if I can find Caleb some hay dudes and some crops. Um Ooh, Lord. But he didn't like the NASCAR thing. He wasn't like really interested in it. Which I hate that because I thought it was so cute. But I try not to, even though he only won. I try not to uh, make him get things or like things because I like it. I'm trying to learn now to let him have his own personality without interference. So then when he gets older, I won't be like some of y'all mamas who won't let y'all sons be themselves. Okay? So yeah, I just let him, I don't know why he keep messing with that. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff in here and then we're going to walk right here. Get off these people's car. Stop. But I'm about to change his t-shirt because his t-shirt is filthy. So he uh stop touching these people car. Go, go. Yes, it's a car and don't touch them people stuff. Um What was I saying? Stop, man. Where the key? Okay, we got him his crocs. Now we're about to go get him some croc charms. Um, first I want to go in this foot locker and see what they got in his size. 